Hey everyone, how's it going? So what we did last time is we um, added our register page um, client validation so that when we enter some text in here or fill the fields in, I mean, um, we saw, let's do it, so we saw an error because we haven't handled the post um, the post route yet. So what we need to do is just go back to register root.js and just handle that post um, form submission scenario. So what we'll do is just copy this part and paste it below and then I'll change dot get to dot post and that's it we're done <laughs> so and now it actually wouldn't give you the error it would instead come into here which would uh, uh, render the register page again so it would look exactly the same but uh, you would know that it has actually handled that submission so the reason we've got dot post here is because in the register page we have uh, on the form we have method equals post so that's telling us that we're submitting the data using the post method, which is why we have dot post. Um, so how do we get the data from that form? So the data that the, users en the user entered into each text box, how do we get that uh, here? Well, we need to use something called a body parser. So when you submit a form, uh, the data that's sent to the server is sent in the request body. So we need to get it from the body. Now. After we do this next step, we'll be able to access the data like request uh, rec dot body dot and then whatever we want to get. Um, but we can't do that yet. What we need to do is actually add the body parser. So the first thing we need to do is install this dependency. So we're going to say npm install and then body dash parser. I think it's called off the top of my head. Let's have a look. Yep, seems to have worked. So body dash parser. Let me just show you that again if you've missed it. Where is it? Uh, there npm install body dash parser okay so now we have the body parser let's actually make sure we're using it on this page so what I'm going to do is create a const up there um, I'll say const uh, body parser equals require and then inside there I'll just put body parser okay great we can use body parser now so what we need to do first is tell our server or our app that we need to use body parser. So underneath this part right here where we set the view engine details, um, we will then say app dot use and inside parentheses, we're going to say body parser dot URL encoded. So URL encoded. Um, and then inside the parentheses of that, we're going to do an object. So put your curly brackets in there and all we're going to do is just say extended colon false okay now this is just some settings that it uses um, basically what we're doing is we're setting up the body parser and we're telling the app to use it um, don't worry about what extended false means too much it essentially just means the body will only be able to contain um, key value pairs made up of strings or arrays um, if this was set to true uh, instead of false it would mean that essentially any data type can come through so um, it doesn't matter too much for us but this is just something uh, I'm used to doing and what I'll actually do is uh, copy that while we're here uh, and move it to app.js as well. I think we want to do that. So uh, let's just put it in app.js above this line where we uh, set the um, we serve the, the public folder. And give that a save. We don't need that now, obviously, but it would just save us having to come back and do that later if we want it. So anyway, um, where were we here? So now that we've got the body parser, let's actually try and use it. So in this uh, post section right here, let's uh, say console.log and then rec.body like that and let's see what that gives us so it will render the register page because that's what this line does so don't worry about the fact that the page will look like it's gone nowhere um, it is working so anyway let's start this uh, server using npm start and we got an error great let's see what that is body parser is not defined um, what Oh, it's not in this file. It's in app.js, and that's because that's because we uh, we added this part right here, but we didn't actually declare the const above. So um, what I'm going to do is just uh, copy this line right here. I really can't bother to type that out again. So copy that, and then let's paste it up here. Give it a save, and now this will start. I'm sure of it. All right, there we go. Um, so the server started. Let's refresh the page now. If you're on here. Uh, and you press refresh, it's going to ask you if you want to resubmit the form. If you press continue, it will resubmit the form with all the same details that it had before. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and like I said, it's showing you the register page because that's what we told it to render down here. 
Um, but we do have this in the uh, console now. We we said console.log. Oh wait, I'm in the, I'm in the wrong file. <laughs> Let's go to uh, register roots. Sorry, uh, down here. This is where we talk to register the register page. Um, but just above that, we have this console.log uh, where uh, it's logged the body, and you can see that the body now contains all the uh, details that were submitted by our form. So it means we can access, for example, the first name field by saying rec.body.firstname or something like that. Um, so this is how we can access all the data that the user input. So now it's time to do something with it.